Tours is a city located in the central part of France, in the region of Center Val de Loire. It is known for its rich history, architectural heritage, and proximity to the Loire Valley, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Here is some information about ours. 1. Historic City Center Tours boasts a well preserved historic city center that showcases a blend of architectural styles spanning several centuries. The Place Plumero, picturesque square lined with half timbered houses, is a popular gathering spot filled with restaurants, cafes, and nightlife. The city center also features the impressive Tours Cathedral Cathedral, St. Gaetien de Tours, a stunning example of Gothic architecture. 2. Old Town, the Old Town of Tours, known as Le Vieux Tours, is a charming area with narrow streets, medieval buildings, and hidden courtyards. It offers a glimpse into the city's past and is a delight to explore on foot. The neighborhood is home to the Muse du Compagnonage, which showcases the traditions and crafts of the French guilds. 3. Loire Valley Castles Tours serves as an excellent base for exploring the famous Toe Castles of the Loire Valley. The region is renowned for its magnificent castles, including Chteau de Chambord, Chteau de Chenonceau, and Chteau d'Amboise. These architectural masterpieces are surrounded by beautiful landscapes and offer insights into French history and Renaissance art. 4. Place Jean Yours Place Jean Yours is the main square in Tours and serves as a vibrant hub of activity. The square is adorned with fountains, statues, and outdoor cafes, making it an ideal spot for people watching and enjoying a coffee or a meal. It is a lively gathering place for both locals and visitors. 5. St. Martin Basilica The Basilica of St. Martin Basilique St. Martin is an important religious site in Tours. It is dedicated to St. Martin, the patron saint of the city, and is a significant pilgrimage destination. The Basilica is known for its stunning architecture, stained glass windows, and historical importance. 6. Muse des Beaux-Arts the Muse des Beaux Arts in Tours houses an extensive collection of fine art, including paintings, sculptures, and decorative arts. It showcases works by renowned artists such as Rubens, Delacroix, and Rodin. The museum is located in the former Archbishop's Palace, a beautiful building in its own right. 7. Festivals and Events Tours hosts various festivals and events throughout the year. The Tours sur Loire Festival celebrates the Loire River with music, entertainment, and fireworks. The Festival de la Fiction TV highlights television series and programs. Additionally, the city holds a Christmas market during the holiday season, offering a festive atmosphere and a selection of crafts and local products. Tours offers a mix of history, culture, and natural beauty. Whether you're exploring its historic center, venturing into the Loire Valley castles, or enjoying the local festivals. Chassanon Chassanon is a small village located in the Nouvelle Aquitaine region of southwestern France. It is known for its rich Roman heritage and archaeological site. Here is some information about Chassanon. 1. Gallo-Roman Ruins Chassanon is home to the impressive Roman archaeological site of Cassinomagus. The site dates back to the 1st century AD and includes the remains of a Gallo-Roman thermal complex, a sanctuary, and a theater. Visitors can explore the well-preserved ruins, which offer insights into the daily life and architectural achievements of the Roman era. 2. Thermal Baths The highlight of the Cassinomagus site is its thermal baths. These baths were once an essential part of Roman society and were used for relaxation, socializing, and wellness. The ruins include hot and cold water pools, hypocaust heating systems, and various rooms associated with the bathing ritual. Visitors can walk through the remains and imagine the grandeur of the complex during its heyday. 3. Archaeological Museum, adjacent to the Casanomagus site. There is an archaeological museum that provides further context and information about the Roman history of the region. The museum displays artifacts discovered during excavations, including statues, pottery, jewelry, 
and everyday objects. It offers a deeper understanding of the Gallo-Roman civilization and the importance of Casanomagus in the region. 4. Nature and Surroundings Chassanon is surrounded by picturesque countryside and offers opportunities for outdoor activities. Visitors can explore the nearby forests, go hiking or cycling, and enjoy the peaceful rural landscapes. The village is also located in close proximity to the Vienne River, which provides additional options for nature walks and water-related activities. 5. Local Cuisine Chassanon and the surrounding area are known for their delicious local cuisine. Visitors can savor regional specialties such as limousine beef, foie grass, truffles, and various dairy products. The village and nearby towns offer charming restaurants and cafes where you can taste the flavors of the region. Casanomagus Archaeological Site The Casanomagus Archaeological Site in Chassanon is one of the most significant Roman sites in France. It was a thriving Gallo-Roman city during the 1st and 2nd centuries ad. The site covers an area of around 25 hectares and includes the remains of a thermal complex, a sanctuary, a theater, and residential structures. The thermal baths are particularly well-preserved and provide a glimpse into the luxurious lifestyle of the Roman elite. Chassanon may be a small village, but its Roman ruins and archaeological site make it a fascinating destination for history enthusiasts. Exploring the remains of Casanomagus, learning about Roman life, and enjoying the serene natural surroundings provide a unique experience for visitors to this part of France. Bordeaux Bordeaux is a city located in southwestern France. Known for its world-renowned wine production, stunning architecture, and rich cultural heritage. Here is some information about Bordeaux. 1. Wine Capital Bordeaux is often referred to as the wine capital of the world due to its long history of wine production and the quality of its wines. The region surrounding Bordeaux is famous for producing some of the finest wines in the world, including red wines such as Cabernet, Sauvignon, and Merlot as well as white wines like Sauvignon Blanc and Smilin. Wine lovers can visit the vineyards, take wine tours, and taste a wide variety of wines in the city and its surroundings. 2. Historic City Center Bordeaux City Center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is renowned for its well-preserved architecture. The city boasts elegant 18th-century buildings, beautiful squares, and wide boulevards. The Place de la Bourse, with its stunning water mirror reflecting the majestic Fod, is one of the most iconic spots in Bordeaux. The historic center also features the Grand Three, a neoclassical opera house, and the St. Ander Cathedral, an impressive Gothic church. 3. Museums and Cultural Institutions Bordeaux is home to several museums that offer insights into its history, art, and culture. The Meuse d'Aquitaine traces the history of the region from prehistoric times to the present day, while the Meuse des Beaux Arts showcases a collection of European paintings and sculptures. The Cite du Vin is a unique wine museum that explores the history, culture, and traditions of winemaking. 4. Place des Quinquences The Place des Quinquences is one of the largest squares in Europe and serves as a central gathering place in Bordeaux. It features statues, fountains, and gardens, and hosts various events and festivities throughout the year. The square offers a pleasant setting for leisurely walks and picnics. 5. Garonne River Bordeaux is situated on the banks of the Garonne River, which adds to the city's charm. The riverfront promenade, known as the Quays de Bordeaux, offers scenic views of the river and is a popular place for walking, cycling, and enjoying outdoor activities. River cruises are also available, providing a unique perspective of the city and its surroundings. 6. Gastronomy Bordeaux is not only famous for its wines, but also for its gastronomy. The city is known for its traditional dishes, including Intrecht Bordelais steak with a rich red wine sauce, canola sweet pastry with a caramelized crust and a soft custard center, 
and oysters from the nearby Atlantic coast. Bordeaux's restaurants and markets offer a wide range of culinary delights to satisfy food enthusiasts. Bordeaux is a city that combines history, wine culture, and a vibrant culinary scene. Whether you're exploring its architectural treasures, indulging in wine tastings, or savoring its gastronomy, Bordeaux offers a memorable experience for visitors. Beaumont sur Oise. Beaumont sur Oise is a commune in the Val d'Oise department in the Le de France region of France. Here's some information about Beaumont sur Oise. 1. Location Beaumont sur Oise is situated approximately 30 kilometers 18 miles north of Paris. It is located on the banks of the Oise River, which flows through the region. 2. History The history of Beaumont sur Oise can be traced back to ancient times. The area has been inhabited since prehistoric times and has witnessed various historical events. It was a strategic location during the Roman period and later became a medieval town. 3. St. Pierre at St. Paul Church The St. Pierre at St. Paul Church is a notable landmark in Beaumont sur Oise. This beautiful church dates back to the 12th century and exhibits a mix of Romanesque and Gothic architectural styles. It features an impressive bell tower and stunning stained glass windows. 4. Cultural Heritage Beaumont sur Oise has preserved its cultural heritage through its architecture and historical sites. The town includes several well preserved medieval buildings, such as the Maison du Roy King's House and the Maison de la Reine Queen's House. These structures provide glimpses into the town's past. 5. Natural Surroundings the commune of Beaumont sur Oise benefits from its picturesque natural surroundings. 6. Jean Jacques Rousseau, Beaumont sur Oise is associated with the famous philosopher Jean Jacques Rousseau. He lived in the town for a period of time during the mid 18th century. His time in Beaumont sur Oise influenced his philosophical ideas and writings. 7. Events and festivals The town hosts various events and festivals throughout the year. These include cultural festivals, music concerts, and local celebrations. The FET de la Musique, a music festival held annually in June, attracts musicians and visitors from the region. Historical significance Beaumont sur Oise has a rich historical background. It was a significant site during the Hundred Years' War between France and England in the 14th and 15th centuries. The town was also associated with the French Revolution, as it was the birthplace of Maximilien Robespierre, prominent figure of the Revolution. Robespierre Museum The Robespierre Museum is a notable attraction in Beaumont sur Oise. Housed in the birthplace of Maximilien Robespierre, the museum provides insights into the life and political career of this influential figure. Visitors can explore exhibits showcasing Robespierre's personal belongings, documents, and artifacts from the French Revolution. Beaumont sur Oise offers a mix of historical charm, natural beauty, and cultural experiences. Whether you are interested in exploring its architectural heritage, enjoying outdoor activities, or immersing yourself in local traditions, Beaumont sur Oise provides a pleasant destination for visitors. Borges is a historic city located in central France. It is the capital of the Cher department and is known for its well-preserved medieval architecture and rich cultural heritage. Here are some key points about Borges. 1. Cathedral of saint Tien. One of the main attractions in Borges is the Cathedral of saint Tien, masterpiece of Gothic architecture. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and features stunning stained glass windows, intricate sculptures, and a unique astronomical clock. The cathedral is considered one of the finest examples of high Gothic architecture in France. 2. Historic City Center Borges has a well-preserved medieval city center, with narrow streets, half-timbered houses, and charming squares. The picturesque Rue Bourbonics is known for its medieval houses, while the place Gordain offers a lively atmosphere with its cafes and shops. Exploring the city center allows visitors to soak up the medieval ambience and admire the architectural beauty. 
3. Palais Jacques Coeur Another notable landmark in Borges is the Palais Jacques Coeur. A magnificent mansion built in the 15th century by Jacques Coeur, a rich merchant and finance minister to King Charles VII. The palace showcases a blend of Gothic and Renaissance architectural styles, and houses a museum that provides insights into the life and times of Jacques Coeur. 4. Museums and Cultural Institutions Borges is home to several museums that offer a glimpse into its history and art. The Meuse du Berry showcases regional art and artifacts, while the Meuse Estvi exhibits works by the artist Maurice Estvi, who was born in Borges. The Printemps de Borges is an annual music festival that attracts renowned artists and music lovers from around the world. 5. Jacques Kerr Neighborhood The Jacques Kerr Neighborhood is a charming area in Borges that features well-preserved medieval houses and picturesque squares. It is a delightful place to wander, with its narrow, winding streets and hidden courtyards. The neighborhood is named after Jacques Kerr and reflects the historical significance of the merchant class in Borges. 6. Marshes of Borges Near the city, visitors can explore the marshes of Borges, a natural area of wetlands and meadows. The marshes are home to diverse bird species and provide opportunities for birdwatching and nature walks. It is a peaceful retreat for those seeking outdoor activities and tranquility. Festival of Lights Borges is known for its annual Festival of Lights, called Les Nuits Lumire. Held in the summer, the festival illuminates the city's historic buildings, streets, and squares with stunning light installations creating a magical atmosphere. Borges offers a captivating blend of history, architecture, and cultural experiences. Whether you're exploring its medieval streets, admiring its Gothic cathedral, or immersing yourself in its rich heritage, Borges offers a unique and rewarding visit. Limoges is a city located in central France. It is the capital of the Haute-Vienne department and is known for its rich history culture, and craftsmanship. Here are a few key points about Limoges. 1. Porcelain and Ceramics Limoges is renowned worldwide for its porcelain and ceramics. The city has a long tradition of producing fine quality porcelain that dates back to the 18th century. The Limoges porcelain is highly esteemed for its exquisite craftsmanship and has become synonymous with luxury and elegance. 2. Gothic architecture Limoges boasts several stunning examples of Gothic architecture. The Cathedral Saint Tien de Limoges is a notable landmark. Known for its impressive stained glass windows and intricate stone carvings, the Glaise Saint Michel des Lions is another notable church, featuring distinctive twin towers and a font adorned with lion sculptures. 3. Historical Center The historic center of Limoges is a charming area. Characterized by narrow medieval streets, half-timbered houses, and picturesque squares, Place de la Motte is a lively square lined with cafes and shops, while Rue de la Boucherie is known for its traditional butcher shops and artisanal food products. 4. Museums and Cultural Attractions Limoges is home to several museums that showcase its history, art, and craftsmanship. The Muse de Loft House is a collection of religious art and artifacts, while the Muse National Ladrine Da Book is dedicated to ceramics and porcelain. The Muse des Beaux Arts showcases a diverse range of artwork, including paintings, sculptures, and decorative arts. 5. Gastronomy Limoges is known for its gastronomy, particularly its regional specialties. Traditional dishes include the famous limousin beef, PTD palms de terra potato pie, and clafoutis, a cherry dessert. The city also hosts a vibrant food market where visitors can sample local produce, cheeses, and other delicacies. History Limoges has a long and rich history that dates back to Roman times. It was an important center for the production of ceramics and enamelware during the Middle Ages.
The city also played a significant role in the development of the French porcelain industry in the 18th century. Porcelain and enamelware Limoges porcelain is highly esteemed worldwide for its quality and craftsmanship. The production of porcelain in Limoges began in the 18th century and quickly gained international recognition. Arts and crafts in addition to porcelain. Limoges is known for its expertise in other crafts. The city is home to artisans specializing in enamel work, jewelry making, stained glass, and leather work. Limoges offers a blend of history, craftsmanship, and cultural experiences that make it a fascinating destination in France. Whether you're interested in exploring its historical sites, admiring its art and ceramics, or indulging in its culinary delights, Limoges has something to offer for every visitor. Augustaginum Augustaginum, known today as Autun, is a historic city located in the Burgundy region of France. It was founded as a Gallo-Roman city in the 1st century BC by the Roman Emperor Augustus, and served as an important administrative and cultural center during the Roman period. 1. Roman origins, Augustaginum was established as a Roman colony in 15 BC, and it was named after the Emperor Augustus. The city was strategically located in the heart of Gaul modern-day France and served as a capital for the Adui tribe. 2. Roman monuments, many impressive Roman monuments can still be seen in Autun today. One of the most notable is the Autun Cathedral Cathedral St. Lazare d'Odin, a magnificent Romanesque cathedral built in the 12th century. It is known for its elaborate sculptures and beautiful stained glass windows. Other Roman remnants include the Port de Rue, a Roman gate, the Roman theater, and the Temple of Janus. 3. Temple of Janus The Temple of Janus is a unique structure in Otun. It is a circular temple dedicated to the Roman god Janus, known as the god of beginnings and transitions. The temple is one of the best preserved examples of a Roman circular temple in France. 4. Roman Theater The Roman Theater in Autun is one of the largest in Gaul. It could accommodate around 20,000 spectators and was used for various performances, including plays, gladiatorial contests, and public gatherings. Today, the theater hosts cultural events and performances during the summer months. 5. Muse Roland Otun is home to the Muse Roland, which is housed in a 15th century mansion. The museum showcases a wide range of artifacts from the Gallo Roman period, including sculptures, mosaics, and everyday objects. It provides a comprehensive overview of the history and archaeology of the region. 6. St. Lazare Cathedral The Otun Cathedral, also known as St. Lazare Cathedral, is a masterpiece of Romanesque architecture. It features intricate sculptures on its facades, depicting biblical scenes and figures. The cathedral is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is considered one of the most important Romanesque churches in France. 7. Natural Surroundings Otun is surrounded by beautiful natural landscapes, including the Morvan Regional Natural Park. The park offers opportunities for outdoor activities such as hiking, biking, and nature exploration. It is known for its rolling hills, forests, lakes, and picturesque villages. Roman Walls The city of Augustaginum was surrounded by impressive defensive walls during the Roman period. Roman Gates Otun has several well-preserved Roman gates that provided access to the city. Otun Augustaginum is a city rich in history and cultural heritage. Its well-preserved Roman monuments, medieval architecture, and natural surroundings make it a popular destination for history enthusiasts, architecture lovers, and nature seekers. Argentomagus Argentomagus is an archaeological site located near the town of Argentin sur Cruz in France. It is an important Gallo-Roman settlement that dates back to the 1st century BC, and was occupied until the 4th century CE. The site was originally a small village that grew into a thriving town during the Roman period. 
Argentomagus was strategically situated on the banks of the Cruz River, which made it an important trading center and a hub for commerce in the region. The town had various amenities and structures, including a forum, a basilica, temples, public baths, and a theater. The remains of these structures, along with numerous artifacts, have been excavated at the site and are now on display in a museum. One of the notable features of Argentomagus is its Gallo-Roman sanctuary dedicated to the god Mercury. The sanctuary was a place of religious worship and pilgrimage, and it attracted visitors from far and wide. The archaeological excavations have revealed a large number of votive offerings, including statues, altars, and inscriptions dedicated to Mercury. Today, Argentomagus is an archaeological park that offers visitors the opportunity to explore the remains of the ancient town. The park includes reconstructed buildings, informative panels, and interactive exhibits that provide insights into the daily life of the people who live there. It is a fascinating destination for history enthusiasts and those interested in Roman civilization. Argentomagus Museum The site of Argentomagus has its own museum, which is located near the archaeological park. The museum houses a wide range of artifacts discovered during excavations, including pottery, jewelry, tools, and sculptures. These items provide insights into the daily life, religion, and trade of the Gallo-Roman inhabitants of the region. Gallo-Roman Theater one of the notable features of Argentomagus is its well-preserved theater. The theater could accommodate around 3,000 spectators and was used for various cultural and entertainment events during the Roman period. Today, visitors can explore the theater and imagine the performances that took place there centuries ago. Roman Baths The remains of the public baths at Argentomagus give us a glimpse into the bathing practices of the ancient Romans. The baths were an important social and recreational center, where people could relax, socialize, and cleanse themselves. The architectural features of the baths, such as the hypocaust system for heating, can still be seen today. Argentomagus and Argentin sur Cruz are located in the central part of France, in the department of Inder. The town of Argentin sur Cruz itself is known for its picturesque setting along the Cruz River and its well preserved medieval quarter. It is a charming place to visit, with narrow streets, half timbered houses, and a Gothic church. Aralate, Aralate, also known as Aral, is a city located in the Bouches du Rain department in the province Alpes CT Dazer region of France. Here is some more information about Aralate Aral 1. Roman heritage Arl has a rich Roman heritage and was an important city during the Roman Empire. It served as a major port on the Rhine River and was a key center of commerce and culture in the region. 2. Roman Monuments The city is home to several well-preserved Roman monuments that have been designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. These include the Roman Theater, the amphitheater known as the Arl Arena, and the Elliscamps, an ancient Roman necropolis. 3. Van Gogh Connection Arl is renowned for its association with the famous Dutch artist Vincent van Gogh. Van Gogh spent some of his most productive years in Arl, where he created over 300 paintings, including iconic works such as The Starry Night and Calf Terrace at Night. 4. Arl Photography Festival Arl hosts the Les Rencontres d'Arles an internationally renowned photography festival that takes place annually from July to September. The festival showcases a wide range of contemporary and historical photography exhibitions, attracting art enthusiasts from around the world. 5. Romanesque and Gothic architecture Arles features a blend of architectural styles, including Romanesque and Gothic. The St. Trophime Church, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a prime example of Romanesque architecture. While the Arl Cathedral Cathedral St. Trophime d'Arles showcases Gothic elements. 6. Camargue Natural Park Arl is located close to the Camargue Natural Park, a unique wetland area known for its diverse wildlife, including pink flamingos, white horses, and black bulls. 
The park offers opportunities for bird watching, horseback riding, and exploring the natural beauty of the region. 7. Feria Darls Arl hosts the Feria Darls, a traditional festival that takes place several times a year, featuring bullfighting, parades, music, and lively street celebrations. The feria attracts locals and visitors alike, offering a glimpse into the local culture and traditions. 8. Museums and Cultural Institutions Arl is home to several museums and cultural institutions that showcase its history, art, and heritage. These include the Arl Antique Museum, the Ratu Museum housing works by artist Jacques Ratu, and the Museum Arleton dedicated to provenal culture and traditions. Historical significance Arl was founded by the Greeks in the 6th century BC and later became a major Roman city. It served as the capital of the Roman province of Gallia Narbonensis and played a vital role in the Roman Empire's administration and trade. Aralate or Arl is a city steeped in history, art, and cultural vibrancy. Its Roman legacy, connection to Van Gogh, photography festival, and proximity to the Camargue Nature Reserve make it a captivating destination for history buffs, art enthusiasts, and nature lovers. Elalia, also known as Elia, is a town located in the Haute Corse department on the island of Corsica, France. Here are some additional details about Elalia area 1. Historical significance Eulalia has a rich historical background and is known for its strategic importance in ancient times. It was originally founded as a Greek colony by Phocians from Marseille around the 6th century BC. 2. Battle of Eulalia Eulalia gained historical significance due to the Battle of Eulalia, which took place in 540 BC. It was a naval conflict between the Greeks and the Etruscans and Carthaginians. The Greeks emerged victorious, but the battle marked the decline of Greek influence in the western Mediterranean. 3. Roman Era After the Roman Republic conquered Corsica, Eulalia became an important Roman town. The Romans built fortifications and established a settlement in the area leaving behind archaeological remains and structures. 4. Archaeological Sites Aurea is home to several archaeological sites that showcase its ancient history. These include the Roman ruins of a theater, a forum, and a necropolis. The Archaeological Museum of Aurea displays artifacts and information about the town's history. 5. Natural Beauty Area is located on the eastern coast of Corsica, offering beautiful coastal landscapes and nearby natural attractions. The town is situated near the Tangdi Diana, a lagoon known for its diverse bird life and scenic views. 6. Cultural Heritage Area hosts cultural events and festivals that celebrate Corsican traditions and heritage. These events often include music, dance, and culinary experiences that showcase the local culture. 7. Location and Accessibility Area is easily accessible by road and is located approximately 70 kilometers south of Bastia, the major port city of Corsica. It is a popular destination for visitors interested in exploring Corsica's historical and natural attractions. Ancient Greek colony Eulalia was founded by the Phocians, a Greek maritime people from the city of Marseille in the 6th century BC. The colony served as a strategic trading post and played a significant role in the expansion of Greek influence in the Mediterranean. Importance of Trade Eulalia's location on the eastern coast of Corsica made it a crucial hub for maritime trade routes between the Greek colonies in the western Mediterranean and the Etruscans, Carthaginians, and other regional powers. Cultural exchange, the presence of Greek settlers in Eulalia, contributed to the cultural exchange between the Greeks and the local Corsican population. This interaction influenced various aspects of Corsican culture, including language, art, and architecture.
Eulalia or Aluria is a town with a rich history, blending Greek, Roman, and Corsican influences. Its archaeological sites, coastal beauty, and cultural events make it an intriguing destination for history enthusiasts and those seeking to explore the unique island of Corsica. Apta Julia. Apta Julia, also known as Apt, is a town located in the Vaucluss department in the Province Alpes Cte d'Azur region of France. Here is some more information about Apta Julia Apt. 1. Roman Origins. Apta Julia was founded as a Roman town in the 1st century BC. It was named Apta Julia in honor of Julius Caesar and served as an important center for trade and commerce in the region. 2. Roman Remains. Apt has several remnants from its Roman past. The town's Roman Thea, Les View Apt, is one of the most notable archaeological sites. It dates back to the 1st century AD and was used for various performances and public gatherings. 3. Historical Importance. Throughout history, Apt has been an important town. Due to its strategic location on the Via Domitia, the ancient Roman road that connected Italy to Spain. The town prospered as a trading center for goods such as textiles, pottery, and agricultural products. 4. Cathedral of St. Anne The Cathedral of St. Anne is a prominent landmark in Apt. It was built in the 11th century and features a mix of Romanesque and Gothic architectural styles. The cathedral houses beautiful stained glass windows and religious artifacts. 5. Candied Fruits Apt is famous for its production of candied fruits. The town is known as the world capital of candied fruits and has a long history of preserving fruits and sugar syrup. The local specialty, known as Les Fruits Confis d'Apt, attracts visitors who enjoy the sweet delicacies. 6. Natural Beauty Apt is surrounded by picturesque landscapes and natural beauty. The Luberon Regional Natural Park is nearby offering opportunities for outdoor activities such as hiking and exploring the countryside. The area is known for its lavender fields and vineyards. 7. Provenal Market Apt is known for its lively Provenal Market, which takes place on Saturdays. Visitors can explore the market stalls selling fresh produce, local products, crafts, and other regional specialties. 8. Festivals Apt hosts various festivals throughout the year celebrating the local culture and traditions. One of the notable events is the Lavender Festival, which takes place in July, and showcases the region's lavender production through parades, exhibitions, and music. Provenal Architecture Apt features charming provenal architecture with narrow streets, colorful facades, and traditional stone houses. The town's historic center has preserved its medieval character, creating a picturesque atmosphere for visitors to enjoy. Historical Monuments Apart from the Cathedral of St. Anne, Apt has other historical monuments worth exploring. The Chapelle des Nightens Noirs, a 17th-century chapel, showcases beautiful Baroque architecture. The Edeldieu, a former hospital dating back to the 17th century. Apta Julia or Apt combines Roman heritage, traditional crafts, and natural beauty, making it an appealing destination for history enthusiasts, food lovers, and those seeking a taste of provenal charm. Argentomagus. Argentomagus is an archaeological site and museum located in Argentine Sur Cruz, a town in the inner department of the Centre Val de Loire region in France. Here is some more information about Argentomagus and Argentine Sur Cruz 1. Argentomagus Archaeological Site Argentomagus is an ancient Gallo-Roman town that dates back to the 1st century BC. The site was an important trading center and flourished during the Roman period. Excavations have uncovered remains of buildings, streets, thermal baths, and an amphitheater. 2. Museum The Argentomagus Archaeological Museum showcases the artifacts and discoveries from the excavations at the site. The museum exhibits a wide range of objects, including pottery, jewelry, statues, tools, and architectural fragments. Visitors can learn about the daily life, economy, and culture of the Gallo-Roman period. 3. 
Gala Roman Theater Argentomagus features a well-preserved Gala Roman Theater that dates back to the first century ed. The theater had a capacity of around 3,000 spectators and was used for performances, including theatrical plays and musical events. 4. Roman Villa A highlight of Argentomagus is a reconstructed Roman villa. The villa showcases the architectural style, interior decor, and lifestyle of a wealthy Roman family during the Gallo-Roman period. Visitors can explore the various rooms and gardens, gaining insights into Roman domestic life. 5. Argentin Sir Cruz Argentin Sir Cruz is a picturesque town situated on the banks of the Cruz River. It is known for its charming medieval streets, half-timbered houses, and historic bridges. The town provides a pleasant setting for strolling and exploring the local shops and cafes. 6. St. Bennett Church The St. Bennett Church in Argentin Sir Cruz is a notable landmark. The church dates back to the 12th century and features a mix of Romanesque and Gothic architectural styles. Its impressive facade and beautiful stained glass windows are worth admiring. 7. Cruz River The Cruz River flows through Argentin Sir Cruz, offering opportunities for outdoor activities and leisurely walks along its banks. The river is known for its scenic beauty and is popular for fishing, boating, and picnicking. 8. Museums and Art Galleries Apart from the Argentomagus Archaeological Museum, Argentin Sir Cruz is home to other cultural institutions. Gallo-Roman town Argentomagus was an important Gallo-Roman town located on the ancient trade route between Lyon and Saints. It thrived from the 1st century BC to the 4th century AD and played a significant role in regional commerce and cultural exchange. Argentomagus and Argentin Sir Cruz provide a glimpse into the region's Gallo-Roman past and offer a charming setting for exploration. Visitors can delve into the ancient history at the archaeological site, appreciate the town's medieval heritage, and enjoy the picturesque beauty of the Cruz River. Aginum, or Agen. Aginum, also known as Agen, is a city located in southwestern France. It is the capital of the Lot at Garonne department in the Nouvelle Aquitaine region. Agen is situated along the Garonne River and has a rich history dating back to ancient times. Here is some more information about Aginum Agen. 1. Historical Significance Agen has a long history that dates back to the Roman era. The city was originally founded as Aginum by the Romans in the 2nd century BC and served as an important military and administrative center. 2. Roman Remains While much of the ancient Roman structures no longer exist, there are some remnants of the Roman period in Agen. Archaeological excavations have uncovered fragments of Roman walls and pottery, providing evidence of the city's Roman past. 3. Medieval Heritage Agen flourished during the Middle Ages and became an important trading center. The city features a well-preserved historic center with narrow streets, half-timbered houses, and charming squares. The St. Capris Cathedral, built in the 13th century, is a notable architectural gem in Agen. 4. Prune Capit Agen is renowned for its production of prunes dried plums. The city is often referred to as the prune capital of France. Agen prunes are highly regarded for their quality and are used in a variety of culinary dishes and confections. 5. Canal du Midi Agen is a significant stop along the Canal du Midi, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The canal, originally built in the 17th century, stretches from the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea and passes through Agen, offering scenic views and opportunities for boating and cycling. 6. Cultural Attractions Agen has several cultural attractions, including museums, art galleries, and theaters. The Muse des Beaux-Arts Dagen houses an impressive collection of artwork. While the Parc des Expositions hosts various exhibitions and events throughout the year. 7. Gastronomy In addition to prunes, Agen is known for its gastronomy. The region is renowned for its local produce, including foie gras, truffles, and armagnac, a type of brandy. 
Visitors can enjoy traditional Gascon cuisine in the city's restaurants and markets. 8. Location and Accessibility Aigon is conveniently located in southwestern France and is well connected by road and rail. The city has a train station with regular services to major cities such as Bordeaux and Toulouse. Entertainment The Municipal Theatre, Thrader du Corneau, presents theatre and occasionally classical concerts. The smaller, Thrader du Jour, has a resident theatre company presenting a variety of recent or. There are two cinemas, one a commercial multi-screened affair, the other an art cinema run by a voluntary organization. The latter organizes film festivals every year. Egan offers a blend of historical charm, culinary delights, and scenic surroundings, making it a captivating destination for visitors exploring the southwestern region of France. A.G. Dinkum A.G. Dinkum, also known as Sens, is a city located in France. It is situated in the Yon department in the bourgogne franche comte region. Sens has a rich history that dates back to Roman times. The city was originally known as A.G. Dinkum during the Roman era and served as an important regional center. It was a prosperous city with significant political and economic influence. Today, Sens is known for its historical heritage, including the Sens Cathedral, which is one of the oldest Gothic cathedrals in France. The city also has a charming old town with narrow streets, medieval buildings, and a picturesque riverfront. Sens is an important cultural and commercial center in the region, attracting visitors with its historical sites, museums, and local cuisine. Historical significance A.G. Dinkum Sens was an important Roman city during the Roman Empire. It was situated on the Roman road linking Paris to Lyon and served as a major administrative and commercial center in the region. Roman origins A.G. Dinkum was founded by the Romans in the 1st century BC. It was strategically located on the banks of the river Yon, which facilitated trade and communication. Gallo-Roman remains The city has significant Gallo-Roman remains including the remnants of an amphitheater and portions of the ancient city walls. These archaeological sites provide insights into the city's Roman past. Sens Cathedral, the most prominent landmark in Sens is the Sens Cathedral Cathedral saint Tien de Sens. Built in the 12th century, it is one of the earliest and finest examples of Gothic architecture in France. The cathedral houses beautiful stained glass windows and a rich collection of religious art. Joan of Arc, Sens has a connection to the historical figure Joan of Arc. It was in Sens that Joan of Arc received confirmation of her mission from the archbishop in 1429, before traveling to Orleans. Cultural Heritage The city of Sens boasts a rich cultural heritage. It has several museums, including the Muse de Sens which showcases art and artifacts from the region's history. The city also hosts various cultural events and festivals throughout the year. Gastronomy Sens is known for its gastronomy, particularly its local specialties. The region is famous for its wine production, including the renowned Chablis wines. Visitors can enjoy traditional Burgundian cuisine, which often features dishes like caco vin, escargots, and both Bourguignon. Location and accessibility, Sens is located approximately 120 kilometers southeast of Paris, making it easily accessible by road and train. It is a popular day trip destination from the French capital for those interested in exploring its historical and architectural treasures. Overall, A.G. Dinkum Sens offers a blend of Roman heritage, medieval charm, and cultural experiences making it an intriguing destination for history enthusiasts and travelers seeking a taste of authentic France. Verulamium Verulamium was a town in Roman Britain. It was sited southwest of the modern city of Street Albans in Hertfordshire, England. A large portion of the Roman city remains unexcavated, being now park and agricultural land. Although due to plowing on the privately owned agricultural half of the city, a lot of damage has been done. 
as proven by parts of mosaic floors that have been found on the surface. And results of ground penetrating radar show outlines of buildings as smudges rather than clearly defined walls like those protected by the parkland. Part of the Roman city has been built upon, such as Stt. Michael's Church and other parts along the center of the medieval village. The major ancient Roman route Waddling Street passed through the city. Much of the site and its environs is now a scheduled monument. History Before the Romans established their settlement, there was already a tribal center in the area, which belonged to the Catavolani. This settlement is usually called Berlamian. The etymology is uncertain, but the name has been reconstructed as Uralmayan, which would have a meaning like the tribe or settlement of the broad hand Urulmos in Britonic. In this pre-Roman form, it was among the first places in Britain recorded by name. The settlement was established by Tassiovanus, who minted coins there. The Roman settlement was granted the rank of municipium around at 50, meaning its citizens had what were known as Latin rights, a lesser citizenship status than a colonia possessed. It grew to a significant town, and as such received the attentions of Boudica of the Iceni in 61. When Variolamium was sacked and burnt on her orders, a black ash layer has been recorded by archaeologists thus confirming the Roman written record. The rebuilt town grew steadily. By the early 3rd century, it covered an area of about 125 acres o 51 km2, behind a deep ditch and wall. It is the location of the martyrdom of the first British martyr saint. Saint Alban, who was a Roman patrician converted by the priest Amphibolus. Variolamium contained a forum, basilica and a theater, much of which were damaged during two fires, one in 155 and the other in around 250. One of the few extant Roman inscriptions in Britain is found on the remnants of the Forum C. Variolamium Forum inscription. The town was rebuilt in stone rather than timber at least twice over the next 150 years. Occupation by the Romans ended between Ad 400 and 450. There are a few remains of the Roman city visible, such as parts of the city walls, a hypocaust still in situ under a mosaic floor, and the theater, as well as items in the museum below. More remains under the nearby agricultural land, which have never been excavated, were for a while seriously threatened by deep plowing. Although recent results of GPR ground penetrating radar have revealed more damage than originally thought has been done to most buildings, especially the northwestern part of the old Roman city. Variolamium is mentioned in a Latin inscription on a wax tablet, dated to Ed 62, discovered in London during the Bloomberg excavations, 2010-14, in the consulship of Publius Marius Celsus and Lucius Aphinius Gallus, on the twelfth day before the calends of November 21 October Ed 62. I, Marcus Renius Venustus, have written and say that I have contracted with Gaius Valerius Proculus, that he bring from Berylamium by the Ides of November 13 November, 20 loads of provisions, at a transport charge of one quarter denarius for each, on condition that one is to London, but if the whole, Roman theatre, although there are other Roman theatres in Britain for example at Camulodunum, the one at Variolamium has been claimed to be the only full excavated example of its kind, being a theater with a stage rather than an amphitheater. The theater is on the grounds of and therefore run by the Gorhambury estate. Post-Roman times. Stt. Albans Abbey and the associated Anglo-Saxon settlement were founded on a hill outside the Roman city. The site of the abbey may have been a location where there was reason to believe that Stt. Alban was executed or buried. More certainly, the abbey is near the site of a Roman cemetery, which, as was normal in Roman times, was outside the city walls. It is unknown whether there are Roman remains under the medieval abbey. An archaeological excavation in 1978, directed by Martin Biddle, 
failed to find Roman remains on the site of the medieval chapter house. David Nash Fort identifies the community as the Kerminsip Fort Municipium. Listed by Nannius among the 28 cities of Britain in his History of the Britons. As late as the 8th century, the Saxon inhabitants of Spt. Albans nearby were aware of their ancient neighbor, which they knew alternatively as Verulamaxter or under what H. R. Loin terms their own hybrid, Vicklingster, the fortress of the followers of Oskla. Loss and Recovery the city was quarried for building material for the construction of medieval D.T. Albans. Indeed, much of the Norman Abbey was constructed from the remains of the Roman city, with Roman brick and stone visible. The modern city takes its name from Alban, either a citizen of Verulamium or a Roman soldier, who was condemned to death in the 3rd century for sheltering Amphibolus, a Christian. Alban was converted by him to Christianity, and by virtue of his death, Alban became the first British Christian martyr. Since much of the modern city and its environs are built over Roman remains, it is still common to unearth Roman artifacts several miles away. A complete tile kiln was found in Park Street, some 6 miles 9, 7 km from Verulamium, in the 1970s and there is a Roman mausoleum near Rothamsted Park, 5 miles 8 o km away. Within the walls of ancient Verulamium, the Elizabethan philosopher, essayist and statesman Sir Francis Bacon built a refined small house that was thoroughly described by the 17th century diarist John Aubrey. No trace of it is left, but Aubrey noted, at Verulam is to be seen, in some few places, some remains of the wall of this city. Moreover, when Bacon was ennobled in 1618, he took the title Baron Verulam, after Verulamium. The barony became extinct after he died without heirs in 1626. This title was revived in 1790 for James Grimston, a Hertfordshire politician. He was later made Earl of Verulam, a title still held by his descendants. Verulamium Museum. The Verulamium Museum, part of Street Albans Museums, is in Verulamium Park adjacent to St. Michael's Church. It contains much information about the town, both as a Roman and Iron Age settlement, plus Roman history in general. The museum was established following the excavations carried out by Mortimer Wheeler and his wife, Tessa Wheeler, during the 1930s. It is run by the District Council Collections. It is noted for the large and colorful mosaics and many other artifacts, such as pottery, jewelry, tools and coins from the Roman period. Many were found in formal excavations, but some, particularly a coffin still containing a male skeleton, were unearthed nearby during building work. There are a few remains of the Roman city visible, such as parts of the city walls, a hypocaust still in situ under a mosaic floor, and a theater, as well as items in the museum below. More remains under the nearby agricultural land, which have never been excavated, were for a while seriously threatened by deep plowing. Although recent results of GPR ground-penetrating radar have revealed more damage than originally thought has been done to most buildings, especially the northwestern part of the old Roman city. Verulamium is mentioned in a Latin inscription on a wax tablet, dated to Ed 62, discovered in London during the Bloomberg excavations, 2010-14. In the consulship of Publius Marius Celsus and Lucius Aphinius Gallus, on the twelfth day before the calends of November 21 October Ed 62, I, Marcus Renius Venustus, have written and say that I have contracted with Gaius Valerius Proculus, that he bring from Verulamium by the Ides of November 13 November, twenty loads of provisions, at a transport charge of one quarter denarius for each, on condition that one is to London, but if the whole, Roman theatre, although there are other Roman theatres in Britain for example at Camulodunum, the one at Verulamium has been claimed to be the only full excavated 
example of its kind, being a theater with a stage rather than an amphitheater. The theater is on the grounds of and therefore run by the Gorhambury estate. Post-Roman times. St. Albans Abbey and the associated Anglo-Saxon settlement were founded on a hill outside the Roman city. The site of the abbey may have been a location where there was reason to believe that St. Alban was executed or buried. More certainly, the abbey is near the site of a Roman cemetery, which, as was normal in Roman times, was outside the city walls. It is unknown whether there are Roman remains under the medieval abbey. An archaeological excavation in 1978, directed by Martin Biddle, failed to find Roman remains on the site of the medieval chapter house. David Nash Ford identifies the community as the Carmincip Fort Municipium, listed by Nennius among the 28 cities of Britain in his History of the Britons. As late as the 8th century, the Saxon inhabitants of St. Albans nearby were aware of their ancient neighbor, which they knew alternatively as Verulam or under what H. R. Loin terms their own hybrid, Vicklingster, the fortress of the followers of Oskla. Loss and recovery. The city was quarried for building material for the construction of medieval St. Albans. Indeed, much of the Norman Abbey was constructed from the remains of the Roman city, with Roman brick and stone visible. The modern city takes its name from Alban, either a citizen of Verulamium or a Roman soldier, who was condemned to death in the 3rd century for sheltering Amphibolus, a Christian. Alban was converted by him to Christianity, and by virtue of his death, Alban became the first British Christian martyr.